Okay, wanna do it again? Just go. Hey guys, it's pretty cold out here. Why don't you come in the van? We'll go have a coffee and chat a little bit. Yeah, let's go talk about what we're uh, up to here in the next little while and uh, bring you up to date. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go for a chat. <laughs> it's cold. Cold. It's not that cold. Not it's cold Canada. Now. The first time the button was red. Move nothing, over more. Nothing. Why? Because you have to pretend you like me. Yeah. Okay. So, this is our take two. We already filmed this whole thing, and then for some reason, oh man, it didn't record. So now we got to think of everything we said all over again. What the hell were we talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. They don't know, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, <laughs> it's all new to you. <laughs> that's right. So here we are having our coffee. Yep. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, Janet. So this is going to be something we do ongoing. Um, it's going to be called either Morning Coffee with Rob and Jan or Coffee in the Van with Rob and Jan. You guys let us know what you think. Uh, we wanted to just blah, 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 blah. We just wanted to. <laughs> yeah, just bring you up to date on uh, different issues that have come up, uh, comments uh, on our, our videos and uh, things that people want uh, clarification on. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, so just as a, you know, just the, first of all, I want to say I, I have to concede, uh, Rob won. So I'm going to, don't have to, you can be a graceful winner. No, no, no. <laughs> I, hope re I hope this is recording this time. It's good, so, to, it's, it's good to be king. <laughs> so anyway, you were saying on one of our videos, yes. don't have to gloat. So on one of our videos, I asked, you know, if people were team no, you asked, are they Team Rob or Team... No, maybe it was me. It was you. Team Rob, Team Jan, about the colors. I wanted all the gray tones. And everybody has said, Team Rob, they like the colors because it's not that cookie cutter, gray, white tones that everyone does. They like the, the tones that Rob picked in the burgundies and the greens. So I have to say... Yeah, because you spend so much time pondering this whole palette of colors. And when I saw that it wasn't looking good, I went into Lowe's and I said previously it was a five-second decision. It was a five-second decision. I went into the paint department. I went by the, the uh, fold-out uh, paint chip things for external colors on houses. 
those ones right there, I gave it to them a quarter of each, and I kept going. I don't think I missed a beat. And, but you didn't uh, check with me. You just went ahead and did it. Yeah, but everybody agrees with me. That's true. Yeah, so. But anyway, it's just paint, eh? Just paint, and. Uh, it's okay. I'm used to it now. Ah, uh, that's good. <laughs> like you. I'm used to you, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's one of the things. Wanted to say, yeah. Rob won. Uh, and then the other part is just to say thank you to all the positive and wonderful comments we're getting from yeah. people. People saying that they think we're adorable. This guy adorable. Adorable? They obviously don't know us. <laughs> <laughs> adorable and a hoot and hilarious. And it's funny because... My mother when... didn't even call me adorable. So this is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so... so when Rob first started editing the very first video we put out, the we bought a van one that's like five minutes long, he said, oh, there's no footage here. And I said, what do you mean there's no footage? I said, there's all that stuff where it's we're doing silly things and making mistakes. And he goes, well, I can't include that. I said, well, that's the part that's fun. So I just found it entertaining to watch us make mistakes and be yeah. human. And yeah. so we decided to include those things in. And I guess people are yeah. enjoying us being real and who we are. And that's what yeah, we're you never know what you're getting. And uh, <laughs> if you don't think it's going right because you can't see what's going on, you, uh, you know, it, it, it can be tense at times or uh, you just, you know, it doesn't feel right or whatever. And uh, like the last 20 minutes. Yeah, we talked this, for all that time and it oh, didn't we, record We've already anything. been through all this. So I don't know why you guys weren't listening the first time. <laughs> got to repeat ourselves so anyway <laughs> doesn't make any sense i know yeah. <laughs> so wanted to talk yeah concede the paint colors thank you for the wonderful comments and yes there's been a lot of people also asking about the van build series yeah, yeah it's coming somebody is editing and no pointing fingers or anything but you know i edited the other videos to give him more time to get his van build series out so that's that's yeah. so he's been taking a bit extra time on on in your defense, you have three months of video footage of building the van from start to finish, and yeah. it wasn't really sorted. It was all thrown in there, and so it, to try to find these little video clips and figure out what makes sense in terms of what items to put together to make, you know, reasonably length, yeah. length, um, length, reasonably length uh, you videos. Can stop anytime. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. It, it's like the the, uh, the first video is going to be about the floor, why I chose how to put the floor in and uh, have a rationale for it, and uh, this back wall here and how I scribe th th this area here for the window. So mm -hmm. to do that, I, I might be looking for or looking through uh, 20, 30 minutes of uh, video for 15 seconds just to emphasize a certain component. So... Mm -hmm. It takes a lot, as people who are uh, doing this on a regular basis are aware. So uh, to actually create a story and uh, have continuity in the uh, in the video, uh, it, it, it takes a certain amount of uh, attention. So anyway, so uh, I will describe what I did on the floor, and then at the end of the video, I will come back in presently and uh, give you any updates or. Uh, extra things because at the time it seemed like the right uh, way of doing things and uh, you know then I'll at the end I'll give you the uh, finished product possibly if it's uh, for each video that you for, do. for each video yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try to give you an update on, yeah, on to say what my thought kind of the before and after and, and if it worked yeah. for you and that kind of thing so yeah, like the paint <laughs> anyway go ahead you were saying <laughs> yeah this is coffee I swear it's coffee um, so the reason why we want to start doing a coffee you know morning coffee or coffee in the van with rob and jan is because uh we can't do a lot of traveling right now yeah. in ontario there's a lot of lockdowns still happening so we're still waiting for things to get a little better in terms of doing a lot of travel so you're looking at snow all the time that's not going to change so much so we do have some videos we're going to put out once he starts putting out his van build series which is hopefully the next few days he's promise yes. he's going to get yeah, the next one be. out in the next few days uh so he's going to have the first van build kind of introductory van build uh kind of uh video out and then i'm going to start putting out the videos from our travel from when we finished the van in late october in um out west some of our travels through bc through banff and jasper and alberta which was breathtaking and also through Saskatchewan and the provinces across uh, Ontario. So we've got some footage there that's, that's pretty nice. We're going to show along the way of yeah. our travels. But because that was from a few months back, we also want to kind of be current with you, tell you how things are going and, uh, you know, keep you up to date with current 
Yeah, and questions and that people are asking, and like today, yeah. what we're going to, uh, what one uh, uh, component mm -hmm. that come up was the uh, the uh, system that we used on our headliner for mm -hmm. uh, hanging our curtains and uh, how that came about. So mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, resulted in a, a number of uh, inquiries. So mm -hmm. we will go into that uh, more into detail in these types of uh coffee chat so we're gonna uh he's gonna talk about the headliner rob's gonna talk about the headliner curtain rod uh and how he made that now of course regard in regards to anything in this build you know you're not a professional even though you do great work you're not a professional so anytime you're doing anything on your van of course make sure you're consulting a professional because everyone's got wires in different places and different things going on in their van so you know this is just anytime we're discussing what we've done it's what we did you know, in our van and everyone's going to have different ideas of yeah. what works for them. Uh, but this headliner we did after we had finished, completed the van build. Mm -hmm. So it was something that uh, we created at someone else's home along the way out West. Yeah. So because of that, um, we, I thought he had taken some footage of actually building it, putting it together. He didn't for that. So be, that's why we're going to discuss it, discuss it today. Cause that won't be part of his van build. Serious. Yeah, yeah, it was never uh, part of the van's build. It was an right. afterthought, and uh, well, my it, thought, my <clears throat> afterthought that you made happen. So you know, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it, it was one of those things that, uh, holy smokes, uh, the edge to that uh, headliner looks solid, but you can't attach anything to it because it is just a floating piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, although there is a structural uh, 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 framing in places. And I had to figure out how to grab it and how to manufacture it because it's it's curved. And uh, anyway, we'll get into that at the end of this, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of show you how I approached it and uh, how it turned out. And uh, but like I like she was saying, uh, be careful uh, anytime you're doing anything to these vans because uh, you know, you could think that you're drilling into a place that is just dead space, but uh, there, there could very well be wires buried in the uh in, in the framing uh, uh of the van and I, I did run into that and it created aggravation i'm still having nightmares and if i didn't have a brother who was just a uh a, a wizard and uh been able to do this i think because he's made all these mistakes himself at one point and uh wait yeah. till you see his shop wait oh, till yeah, you see he's the got shop, a shop. he did the van he's got a shop. oh yeah. my goodness yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's got quite the shop, and uh, yeah. I forget how many square feet it is. Uh, it's forty-two by sixty, something like that. Yeah, it's forty-two huge. by sixty uh, hoist. Uh, and he's a got every tool. foot roof or twenty foot roof. Yeah. Too, or oh, it's like it's that. Yeah, it's incredible, cool. yeah. and uh, I owe him the the world for what he did for me yeah. and uh, yeah. in his. Uh, knowledge and assistance and oh yeah you, incredible. you wouldn't have been able to do all the solar and electrical without oh no no yeah, he, he helped no it was nice i, I stuff, could so. just kind of uh concentrate on what i know best the carpentry and the woodwork and, and stuff, uh yeah. i'll show you some of the work that he did uh mm -hmm. and anybody who has any knowledge of uh how things should be done would look at this guy and go or his work and go wow that, that it's just uh mm -hmm. yeah very very high quality so mm -hmm. but anyway and then yeah at the vet, at the end of this, I'm going to do another shout out Van Ooh. Van Lifer poem. Oh, because we have another uh, a couple in the states yeah. who we've been following for two or two three years, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, they are the inspiration. Their van actually gave us the inspiration for our layout, yeah. where this couch is right here. Yeah, it was in this window, <laughs> so we wanted this type of window and this couch. Um, some of the other things aren't exactly the same, but the overall layout yeah. of this seating area was definitely because of watching their build and how that was done and yeah. we wanted to have an area where four people could sit with the seats turned around and be able to enjoy a nice little space together and not feel uh claustrophobic or anything yeah. it was a nice open space so yeah this for our was build our... uh the, the their uh their layout was the one that we went with, went yeah. with yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know you these builds are always specific to your needs right. and uh you know you have to decide what you want to do or what you want to incorporate and uh you just uh if you shoehorn it in you do it and if you can't well you just uh modify your oh plans we change to, our uh... plans how many times oh, oh my yeah. goodness yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's so that's very fluid so that's this video uh so i talked about conceding to your colors 
talked about some of the wonderful comments. So thanks once again for those who yes. have subscribed. Stay tuned with us. We have lots to show you, and we're going to keep entertaining yeah. you as much as we can during this. And if you have any questions, just comment. ask. Always uh, ask comments, if, questions. If, yeah, if, if we can, we will answer them. Yep. Uh, by no means am I a professional. I've made more mistakes in this thing, yeah. but uh, you know, uh, you just do what you can do, and uh, and if I can. Uh, uh, give an opinion or uh, whatever. We will try to assist anybody in their. Uh... We'll let you know what we did. Yeah. Which, but doesn't. But again, anytime we're doing anything, yeah. you should always consult a professional. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah. So. so is that about it? That's it. Okay. So as you can see, what I have done here is I have used uh, drawer pulls, black drawer pulls, and I've attached them to one and a half inch angle aluminum, and. Uh, uh, because the, the plastic that's above it, uh, in this area right here, it, it's very soft. But on the bottom side, there is a piece of uh, the, the vehicle stamping metal that I could attach screws. And all that's holding this together is four screws in the whole assembly. After I made it, I just used four screws to attach it. And, of course, you make it to the length that uh, best suits your needs. And uh, you put the um, drawer pulls in to correspond with the uh, openings in the uh, actual uh, curtain. So this also has to be bent. And the only thing that really worked for me to bend this is the fact that th that's my wee boost right in the middle here. That's my wee boost and it created a weak spot in the middle to which I was able to put it uh, in a vice grip. Or not vice grip, uh, yeah, vice, a uh, bench vice, and just gently finesse it to uh, curve uh, to the contour of the ceiling. So I'm going to step back here, and uh, this is a terrible lighting. I'm sorry for this, but uh, getting a lot of flare uh, from the outside, um, and you can see that it has bent. So, uh, like I say, th these are attached from the behind in here. I don't know if you can get in there, uh, see it. Uh, it. It's just right in here. And this plastic right here is very soft. So you can't really put anything on it. But underneath where I have put the screws, it's going into metal. I pre-drilled it and put uh, self-tapping screws in that uh, are black onyx uh, screws. And that uh, is how I attach this. So if you have any other questions, just... Uh, reach out and uh, I'll, I'll try to explain it if it needs further explanation, but uh, it, it's basically uh, figure it out as you go along. And uh, uh, like I say, uh, what did help was this because in the center, it allowed me to bend it. So uh, I don't know what would happen if it was one solid piece. Uh, it, it may, uh, I think it should be able to be bent, but uh, uh, th th that's uh, how I did mine. So anyway, good luck with this project. And uh if you have any questions, just let me uh, know and I'll try and answer them. Bye. Okay, and here's the poem. Okay, here we go. Carrie and Dave, husband and wife, went out to discover a newfound life. You sold the lot, the whole kit and caboodle, and went off to explore with your dog, Voodle. Canada and U.S. you have traversed so far. Carrie speaks of waterfalls, mountains, and stars. Dave's skillful drone skills capture it all. Brutal at the ready with his favorite ball. Land surfing, land surfing the wave and other incredible feats. Soaking in the hot springs and picking sugar beets. Taking it in a new breath each day. Treasuring what you have the van life way. Living a life so truly sublime and doing it all one adventure at a time. Cheers to Gary, Dave and Rudel, one adventure at a time. Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. What is that? Very good what? Poem. Very good speech. Very good coffee chip. Coffee knock. Everything, Vern, you've excelled. Stop calling me Vern. What does that mean? <laughs> anyway. Stop saying Vern. <laughs> okay, so that's it, eh? That's it, eh? That's it, eh? Should I read it again? Okay. Just to make no, sure it's good? No, no, you, you, you're wonderful. It's just. I'm wonderful. <laughs> What kind of crap is that? Yeah, really. <laughs> what did you put in there? <laughs> okay, is good. Is that it? I guess. I hope that's taping. Yeah, I hope it's so. A lot too. of freaking work if it's not. Hey, Vern.
Vern. Vern. Who's Vern? Vern. You don't know Vern? No. <laughs> Come on. Everybody know Vern? Okay. Now. What? Who's Vern? You, you don't want to go down this road again, do you? <laughs> Who's Vern? <laughs> oh. I'd take her anywhere, you know. This was supposed to be seamless. When you blew it. What do you mean? Who's Vern? <laughs> you don't know Vern? Stop saying that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we will have to uh, have to go off camera and tell her about Vern. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs>